so guys having ds is installed if you see the option is available here so installing is not enough we need to configure it as well so before configuring wds we need to make sure the drive is having enough space and it is formatted with ntfs so let us verify the things first we'll go to this pc and if you see this c drive is having enough space it is having 65 gb and it is formatted with ntfs as well all right so let us configure the wds so how to configure wds we need to open wds first we need to go to tools then we'll find out the wds service here windows deployment services this is the interface then we'll go to servers and we'll select the server and if you see windows deployment services not configured so we need to configure it how to configure it we'll right click then we'll configure the server then we'll click next and the first option integrated with active directory and the second option here is a standalone server so first option means domain model so we want to install the wds in domain model the second option if you want to install the wds in work group model so we want to install the wds in domain model so we'll select the first option then remote installation folder location so where do we want to create the folder to save the images so we have already verified that c drive is having enough space and it is formatted with ntfs so in c drive it will create remote install folder and you can change it as well so we are satisfied with c drive we'll click next and we'll click yes and we have two options here proxy dscp server the first option do not listen on dscp and dscp version 6 so this option is used when we are installing wds and dscp on both the server on, on the same server so on the same server we already have dscp and we are installing wds so we will check it what this option will do it will not listen on dscp okay if there is any other dscp server so it will not listen to the other dscp server it will listen to the own dscp server this is the meaning and the second option configure dscp option for proxy dscp it helps the pcs to find the wds server okay so we will check both the options then we'll click next and here we are having three options pxc server initial settings so the first option do not respond to any client computer if you check the first option even though wds is installed and it is configured it will not install the operating system on any client if you select the second option respond only to known client computer so it will install the operating system only on the devices which are registered with active directory which are added in the active directory so it will not install any unknown computer if you select the third option it will respond to the client computers known unknown so it will respond it will install the operating system on all the computers if you select this option required approval approval for unknown computers so if any unknown computer wants to install the operating system it required the administrator approval so if there are 100 computers you need the administrator has to approve 100 times so let us uncheck this option then we'll click next now it is configuring the windows deployment services all right so we'll click finish here 